New Zealand has a real problem with our wildlife because rats and stoats and cats and dogs are eating them all. But here in the Catlins, where I am now, this bush is full of bird life. It's just fantastic. If you listen really carefully, you'll be able to hear mohua singing in the background, kākāriki, fantails, silver eyes, riflemen. And last night I saw two mohawks. And it's due to a whole range of tools that have been used in this bush to try to kill the rats using bait stations. And now, most recently, an aerial 1080 drop because of the fear of a rat plague this year. And I've just been helping to monitor some of the nest sites for mohua and it's been a fantastic breeding success. There are 17 nests just operative at the moment and of those, 14 have fledged successfully. It's quite common for mohua to re-nest. They might raise two chicks successfully and then within 10 days of fledgling, the mohua may be raising another egg, another pair of eggs. Mohua are quite charming little birds. Both the male and the female will be feeding the chicks and they'll have a helper which will be last season's chick and they will also be feeding the chicks. Forest and Bird supports the use of 1080 and in places like this we really need aerial 1080 because there's thousands of hectares that have to be covered, it's remote and it's difficult access and quite steep in many places and it's just not possible to be able to lay bait stations and trap such a huge area. And it's also Aerial 1080 is really important when you have a masked beach year, when the beach is seeding and there's plenty of mice and there's plenty of rats and the only way of stopping the rats building up has been found is the use of aerial 1080.